Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Boog Nice coming at you with the SH Figure Warts Avengers Infinity War movie Thanos figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends. Imports. Many maybe I'm fucking with. High beast we know about you. Stay buying figs don't know about it. And a quick look at the side art. And it's the opposite side. Not much going on there. All right. So I got Thanos out of the package. We are lit. This is one that I was highly anticipating. I was in no hurry to build the Marvel Legends version. Normally, I don't collect the movie figures from Marvel Legends unless the movie figure happens to be a builder figure because I do complete all of the baths. I still don't have Thanos complete, so don't look for a size comparison with the Marvel Legends Thanos. But I can tell you right now that this guy is definitely shitting on the Marvel Legends version. He came out really nice, really clean. Dare I say he may be a little too clean, and I'll get into that as the review progresses, but I do like this guy a lot. SH Figure Arts, Mandai, Tamashi Nation, they did a very good job. Uh, let's look at his accessories. And before I start swapping things out, let's just take a close look at the deco. I'll delve a little deeper into uh, my thoughts about the cleanliness of this figure. Um, everything looks very good. Uh, the paintwork and everything here is good. I don't see any paint imperfections. I don't see any problems, but I also don't really see any shading or uh, much texturing. You know, the gold here is very vibrant. The Infinity Gauntlet looks amazing. It looks very gold, but it didn't look that gold in the movie. I mean, it was definitely uh, seemed like it had a little wear and tear to it. It was a little more bronzish in the movie as opposed to gold. I mean, it just looks too clean in my opinion. Everything here just looks a little too clean. Let's not uh, make the mistake of calling this uh, movie that he was a part of <laughs> Avengers movie. It was really the Thanos movie featuring the Avengers. We've talked about this on the ACBA podcast. So he was putting in work, man. He was definitely putting the beats on everybody and racking up kills from the very beginning. So, uh, you know, his costume, his outfit, his skin, everything should reflect that. And it really doesn't. You know, I would have liked to see a little more uh, shading and wear and tear on the costume here. And out of the package, he comes with two closed fists. So a closed fist for the hand with the gauntlet and a closed fist for his bare hand. And you can barely make out his uh, fingernail there. Even that, even right here on his hand, they could have put a little more detail. I think that his skin tone could have been just a tad bit darker. Not as dark and silly looking as the Marvel Legends version, but just a little bit darker. And then he's got a set of open palms, one bare, one gloved. And you can get a good look at the Infinity Stones there. And they all look nice and shiny and cool. Then he's got another set of open palms with the fingers slightly spread. But these are sort of clenched like grabby hands. And it should be noted that swapping out the hands was a little difficult. You may want to heat these up a little bit before you start swapping them onto the peg. Uh, because some of them didn't go on so easily. This particular gloved hand, the grabby one, went on without a problem. Um... But the last two were kind of difficult. And then his last hand is this right hand where it looks like he's snapping. So this was cool. I swapped back on the other fist. So you basically get three complete sets of hands and then this one extra right hand for him to snap. And just taking a close look at this head sculpt, I think this came out phenomenal. I think it looks good. I think the likeness to Josh Brolin's CGI likeness is very good. But again, could have used a bit more shading and a bit more... Uh, dry brushing just to bring out the sculpt and just to make him look even more menacing and more official uh, but it still looks very good oh I do see one little paint imperfection back there on the back of his head looks like a little paint chip so yeah that's the first little imperfection that I've seen and then he also comes with a head sculpt where he is smirking just a slight smile he's not really showing his teeth but that looks good too. And then finally his angry face with the teeth clenched and this looks very good. I like this a lot. This is the you done fucked up now face. And um, yeah man, all three of these look, look great. I'm not sure which is my favorite but I think they're all equally as good. And it should be noted I got a little QC issue here. Let me know anybody else who may have the figure if they experience the same thing. But when I pop off the hands on this left arm the peg is coming out from the uh, wrist a little bit. 
um, and I don't think it should be doing that so I need to be very careful with mine and I'm gonna figure out how I can maybe repair that so that doesn't keep happening all right looking at his articulation pretty decent articulation for a big guy I would have liked to see just a bit more but head and neck move independently of each other so you can get him to look down pretty far and for a big guy that is important uh, especially to me he needs to be able to look down on his opponents look down on his adversary so that's cool he'll look up pretty far as well not too bad you can turn the set left to right it'll get a little pivot on that joint it'll rock back and forth hindered a little bit by the collar but it's not too bad you can still get him looking left and right so not a big deal there shoulders are on the ball joint they'll actually come up pretty far you can do a full 360 and you got a butterfly joint in there it's like a double ball peg in there on the shoulder so there's like a simulated bicep swivel uh, even though there is no cut at the bicep it'll still swivel there on the joint so not bad upper torso articulation you can get them to rotate move back and forth I'm sure it's a ball peg in there and you could pop this off if you wanted to uh, my, my uh, issue with the midsection is that there is not really much articulation here you can't really get them to crunch forward too much, which I don't like. I would have liked to see a bit more articulation in the midsection. Uh, you get a little bit more than 90 degrees on the elbows. Hindered a little bit, I guess, by where the forearm meets the bicep. You can see that it is a double... Um, you can see that the elbow is double jointed, but again, you're not going to utilize it to the full extent. You get a swivel and a hinge on both wrists, and only the wrist turns here, not the entire glove, so that should be noted. Uh, the legs are going to come up about that far. Split will look like that. Double ball peg in there. There is that SHF drop-down mechanism there, and the legs can actually come off of that joint too. So if you push it to the limit, the leg might come off. Not really a double jointed knee, so a little bit more than 90 degrees though. And you do get a hinge on the foot going forward, not too far back because of how the boot is here. Because how the boot is here, there is a toe joint, and you do get a slight pivot on the foot. So, not bad, like I said, for a big guy, but I would have liked to see just a bit more. Alright, size comparison time. On the left, I have the SH Figure Watch Thor Ragnarok movie Gladiator Hulk. And as you can see, he is massive. I think SHF did a wonderful job on this figure. I didn't bother reviewing him because... By the time I got him in hand, everybody had already had reviews out. He was on, sitting on my pile of loot for a long time. So uh, I have him here, though, because SHF is going to be putting out a version of Hulk from Avengers Infinity War. And I'm assuming that they're probably going to use this same base body just without all the armored parts. I don't remember if Hulk was really towering over Thanos like that. They were both pretty big dudes in the movie. But um, still, I do like the size of this, this Hulk. And on the right, we have the uh, Tony Stark figure, the SHF Tony Stark figure. So, And just for shits and giggles, I broke out the SH Figure Watts Age of Ultron Hulkbuster figure, which I keep on display, so it was easy to get him in here. As you can see, he is massive. And SHF is going to be putting out uh, Hulkbuster from Avengers Infinity War 2. Unfortunately, it seems like it's only a domestic release, so... It's a lot of money. I don't know what I'm going to do to try to finagle and make that happen. But uh, on the right, we have the Avengers Infinity War Mark 50 Iron Man figure from SHF, which I reviewed right before Thanos. You can see how they stack up. I think that's about right. Again, Thanos was towering over the regular Avengers guys. And then there he is next to the SH Figure Arts Iron Spider and the SH Figure Arts Star Lord, both from the Avengers Infinity War movie. As far as that team that was part of the attack on Titan. <laughs> In the movie, we have these two guys on the left and right. We got Iron Man, we got Doctor Strange, and, and Thanos. So hopefully they'll they'll uh, delve a little deeper and give us some more characters. Maybe Gamora, uh, Drax, uh, Nebula, and SHF. That would be really, really dope. All right, solid offering here from SH Figure Watch. They did a really nice job on Thanos. I was messing around with him a bit more in between segments, and I was able to turn him more at the waist at the lower waist but it's still not the greatest articulation I think that's where he suffers a bit aside from a little more paint detailing uh, but this is one I would definitely recommend if you can still get him I would go ahead and grab him I do think he's better than the Marvel Legends version I will say the Marvel Legends version is a, l a little larger than this guy I do know that for sure and as always rate comment and subscribe and until next time peace crispy.